time now is 6.25 a.m. and it's time for Subo or also known as Fajr prayers. Let's go take Wudu. So, Fajr prayers, or also known as Subo prayer. It's hard to wake up to in the morning. The struggle we all face is to wake up before it ends. So, if I don't nail this first prayer of the day, then the rest of my day won't be as great. There's just something about the, this morning prayers before the sun rises. It just kind of lights you up inside. The day won't start out right if you don't start it with this prayer really. I can feel it inside. Alright, next event. Just, just go to out. Then I'll update you if I'm gonna drop by. Assalamualaikum everyone. Um, I'm currently on the way to school. Uh, class starts at 3:30 and now it's 2:08. So enjoy me my day. Hi, Sada. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Well, as I entered my workplace and I said Assalamualaikum to my colleague, which she responded with Waalaikum Salam. Assalamualaikum means peace be upon you. Waalaikum Salam means peace be upon you too. In Islam, there's this practice where we wish for peace for one another so basically one of Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him um, one of his close companion once said that whenever one one person joins a gathering he or she is supposed to wish peace to upon other yeah basically that's it it's 12 45 it's almost Zohor on Fridays the guys will go for Friday prayers at a mosque which is compulsory So that's the call to prayer for Zohor time We're headed to the mosque now We're done with Friday prayers at Marrow Mosque. It's time for lunch. I still don't know what to eat. So I'm pretty difficult minded. Hey, look who I got into. Whoa! Whoa, that whoa, overexposure. Whoa. I've decided where to eat after a 15 minute snack. I'm gonna eat at Quad because, like, all the stores there are halal and they have like a variety of food. Variety of food from Korean to Japanese to Yong Tao food to Indian, I think. Yeah, then, yes, I'm gonna have Korean and dipping. Uh, one dipping? One Yeah. Okay, 
Let's eat, let's eat, let's eat. Okay, so I'm currently now uh, on my way to class, as I was saying. Um, so, I just met up with Adam, who's vlogging the other sequence. And I met up with Sada, and now I'm on my way to class. So, I think it's like 3.30 and like a lot of people are looking at me, but... IP. <laughs> Alright, bye. See you after class. Hey, I'm back because I wanted to show you guys the solar area where I perform periods. Um, yeah, so I think uh, not a lot of non Muslims are aware that um, Muslims don't necessarily have to perform all prayers in specified prayer rooms called the Musalas or mosques. Um, we, we can make do with anywhere there's land, there's ground, as long as it's number one clean and number two do not um, does not cause any inconvenience to members of public or other people. Yeah. So for instance, right, I work in a secular writing school and we don't have a lot of Muslims here. My boss, my colleagues, they're all very very understanding. So they, they understand whenever I need to do my prayers. And um, one more thing, sometimes shopping malls they do not carry musallahs, specified prayer rooms. So we make do with second landings as long as it's clean, you yeah, know, we're good at that. It depends, right? it's, a, it's, a, it's a matter of preferences. Yeah, but I don't think anyone's that fussy when they want to perform prayers. Okay, so it's now time for the third prayer of the day, which is Asar, and it's right before sunset. And well, praying in and it's not a difficult thing for me because I have a hall. I always like go back to hall and pray, or if I'm out. Solas are in and are pretty accessible. They cater for both guys and girls, so. I don't think it's that hard to find a praying prayer place or musola in NTU. What I would do if I were like f far away from any of the musolas is that I'll just go to a random stairwell. So time for asar and then some work. Hi, I'm with my friend. Hello. What's your name? Danu. Danu Shaake. Um, what race are you? I'm Indian. Right, obviously. <laughs> so we just ended our marketing class and um, yeah, I'm just gonna go have like dinner with one of my friends. Yeah, anywho, continue your story. Basically, there was this uh, video on Facebook where yeah. there was this Chinese girl who went to stay with a Muslim family. Uh -huh. And the main point of that, right, yeah. is to show that most Chinese, like, or I don't know, just people in Singapore don't yeah. really try to experiment with like races. True, true, outside, true, true. Outside of their circle. So they don't really know like Muslim culture or Indian yeah. culture and stuff like that. So, I mean, Singapore is like kind of multiracial and stuff. Right. So I was quite surprised, yeah. yeah. So I was quite surprised got people that actually don't even know about how Muslims live or eat. You thought that everyone would know, but surprisingly, not everyone does. 
I think it's also cause like for example majority of people here are Chinese. Yeah. So and there's uh, like very few Malays and Indians and other races who actually mix around with this 80%. Yeah. So like you think that just because we are like a mixed country, right, mm -hmm. then we will have opportunities to talk to all these people. But some people so, maybe not. Because it's like Chinese too. Like for example Nan Nyang, is it only Nan Wang? Only take Chinese kids. Yeah. Or the stuff like that. Or maybe there is there are Malays but it's very Minimum. Very little, yeah. No, like, there might be Malays, but you're required to like maybe take Chinese. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I guess so. Yeah. So. I mean, I can't speak for them, but I've heard like my friends who were from like Chinese schools who are Malays who felt like you know they have to like memorize like their Chinese songs and everything. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. yeah. So it's like quite unfair for them, uh. Yeah. But it's quite surprising though. You know when I entered poly, some uh, I think some of my friends like I'm like their first exposure to hijabis. So the, the, the questions that they ask are pretty hilarious. Like <laughs> it's what? like, oh my god, does the pain here go through your skull? And I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> Basically, this is my solat space at my work. I have the luxury of praying in my own workspace in the classroom. I work in a English and creative writing school. It's a private industry, so I have the classroom all back to myself. As you see, it's almost 7. I am waiting for my grip to start, and yeah, I have the privacy to, to perform my prayers at this small, tiny corner, but it's sufficient, I feel. So, after a long day of work, I'm here with my project based members to discuss the details of our upcoming mental health camp. So, meet them! Somehow she is not holding the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so okay, Shikin, I'm going to introduce Shikin to introduce to you guys what Project WIF is about. Okay, so Project WIF is a youth volunteering team. Yeah. Project WIF is a youth volunteering team specializing in mental health in Singapore. Oh. So we um so we organize events. Uh, like camps and we do filming projects to raise awareness about mental health <laughs> in Singapore. Do you guys understand? No! Well, eh, you're supposed to not! <laughs> oh. Take with this and I can cut to... I'm shooting you. Pretend that I'm shooting. Ring pose sana! and I'm on my way back but guess what I fell asleep instead of doing work so it's completely normal but I guess the week just got me trained now I'm walking to the bus stop oh, I don't miss the bus it's coming in like two minutes okay all right let's go home finally So that concludes my Friday and week 8 of school. It's been one long tiring week but Alhamdulillah I made it through and I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna go home and eat dinner. 
and spend time with my family and my cats. Yep, that's about it. I'm now back home. Anywho, uh, I hope you enjoyed going through the day with me. Um, from classes to meeting my friends to um, external classes. Uh, and I hope it gave you a little insight on how uh, the life of a Muslim student in Singapore or in uni, I guess. Uh, yeah, till next time. Bye. Assalamualaikum.